Welcome to week 15, episode 26. I've decided to number the episodes now as well to make it easier to follow. Today, I'm going to be doing this front wall. So this side piece is already in place. This side piece is already in place. I've now got these two beams. So I'm now going to be putting, building this wall and I'm going to be cutting these 12 supports, four, four posts, to support these top beams. So what I'm doing now is just making sure this is the right width. These beams are pretty much bang on what I ordered. But I need to make sure that this is right so that this is completely square up and down. These are square already. I just need to make sure that this is square. So I'm just marking out this bottom plate now, here, on here. 4296 is the beam that goes that way. This beam. 1740 is the beam that goes this way. So, that's what I'm working on now. Here are the beams. They've come from Denmark. Lily Hedden is the company. And there are the beams. One is 4.4296. One is 17.40. Cool glue down beams. So I shall now be taking them out. I'm going to offer them up in place so that I make sure this wall, this middle wall, is in the right place. So I'm going to unwrap them drag them into place and just make sure I've got everything right so that this wall is right. So, I shall carry on the video once these are kind of in place. See you in a minute. So, I've now just put the beams in place on the wall. That's the one that would form the header for the workshop door. This big one is the header for the bifold doors. That's pretty flat, so that's good. So, now I've got them in place. Obviously lower down. I've marked there, marked here, measured that distance. That's my top plate, 510. That plate there, which was 526 on this drawing, but I added some tolerance to these, so they're a bit longer than they needed to be. Now I just need to cut this top plate. The bottom plate will be three studs wider on both sides in the same way that this end is three studs wider so I need to cut three six nine twelve posts now to these posts here I need to put this middle all together Brace it in here, so I'll have to take this OSB out. Then, it's just a matter of lifting these posts, these beams, up on top of these supports, screwing it all together. And then later on, I will put a top plate, right, a crown plate, right across the top. So, now I'm gonna build 
this wall, cut these posts out. Job done. And what I can do with this here, I can actually put a piece of timber here, stand it on here, up to the top, mark it there at the top. And that will be the length of the posts. So that will get my posts exactly the right size. So I'm going to do that now. See you in a bit. <laughs> 